Okay, then how about this one? It looks just like all the others. No, no, look. He's kind of a darker pink. And he's got those swirly things inside. He's unique. Steven, you know those things are dead, right? What? Um, Lapis? I've been meaning to ask you something. What is it? Well, I kind of know how Garnet and Amethyst and Pearl got to Earth, but how did you get here? I know the others found your mirror by the galaxy warp. I don't think they want you to know. Wait, why not? Did something bad happen? I guess you could describe it that way. Lapis, please tell me. I know you're all just trying to protect me, but I need to know these things. I promise I won't tell the others. Just... Please... Don't keep me in the dark. <sighs> it all happened towards the end of the first war. A long, long time ago. I said no to Blue Diamond, and you can tell Yellow Diamond the same thing! It is your duty to govern the interest of the leaders. Who cares about that stupid rock? There are millions out there just like it! You have my answer, and it's final. Do you know how many have died in this war? Thousands. And thousands more are being held against their will. Every day more innocent lives are lost because you refuse to help. Because you refuse to save them. What do you think is going to be next? Citrine? Aquamarine? No one is safe. Not even your friends. Listen. You are the last of the Lapis Lazuli. Only you have the power to stop this, once and for all. But what about the diamonds? Why don't they do something? We cannot change our leaders' minds. We can only do our part to minimize the suffering of our people. In the end, the decision is yours alone. I can only hope you decide to be merciful. All I wanted was for the war to end. All I wanted was to protect my friends and my home. I thought the rebellion was doomed to fail. I... I didn't think they stood a chance at all. They were so few and... I thought I was doing the right thing. All I wanted was for the war to end. So I tried to end it myself. Rose! Pearl? What's wrong? It's the Wailing Stone. It suddenly went off. We're receiving distress signals from all over the planet. Rose, I pray There's this too message many of gets them. to you. We've lost something in the no, water. No, requesting backup. No, repeat. Requesting immediate can't. backup. We can't leave us here. Rose, where are you? You can't leave us here. Please. We don't have enough soldiers to help them. Rose, what do we do? Rose? Lapis. Lapis, what have you done? Countless gems lost their lives that day. I never knew their names or saw their faces. But then, of course, eventually. My mom was the one who cracked your gem? No. Rose never would have taken a life if she could help it. Shh. I've got you. I won't let them hurt you. I... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I never... I didn't... I know, Lapis. I know. I'll protect you. I knew you didn't want... This. Your mother bubbled in all of us. She was so sure we'd all come around. I don't know where she sent the dead. But me, she kept safe. And even while her friends debated getting rid of me for good, she refused to tell them which one of the captured gems belonged to me. Every life was precious in her eyes. Even mine. Eventually, a raiding party brought me and a few other prisoners home. When I refused to regenerate, they put me in that mirror as punishment for disobeying them. And to make use of me, I guess. And by some twisted coincidence, I ended up back on Earth. I'm not ashamed of the things I've done. 
I only did what I did to help save my people and my home. But if you're scared of me or you don't trust me anymore, I understand. I know I wouldn't. Hey, nerds! We're gonna go squish some drill parasites in the earth spire. You better hurry up if you want in! No such thing as a good war, right? Man, those two sure did have a thing. And there's no way those two aren't gonna have a thing. Even those two might be on their way to a thing. Maybe. And those two? Yeah. Definitely a thing. Ugh. I sure wish I had a, a pizza. Oh, You're the best, G! I'll hug you in a minute. Take your time. Steven, I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused you and your friends. I never meant to hurt anyone. I was scared and desperate. I won't blame you for being disappointed in me and losing your trust. I just wanted to help you, like you did for me. I'm not upset. We're grateful for what you did for us, Lapis. You did what you thought was right. I'm just glad you're safe now. Thanks, Steven. I really needed those words. From here on out, I'll make up for my actions and fend off any jammin' monster who tries to do harm to our friends. And we'll fight alongside each other. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Did, did we just fuse? I thought fusion could only be done through dance! That's true. A dance is needed to help synchronize a gem's body and mind. But fusion can also be achieved without it depending on a gem's bond with one another. A strong bond means it's easier to fuse. It's weird though. I feel different than the time I fused with my friend Connie. I feel like I can do anything! Well, that's because I'm a gem, Steven. A gem's body is physically stronger and more durable than a human's. I didn't mean to get carried away. It was fun while it lasted. So I'll unfuse us now. Wait, not yet. Before we unfuse, I just wanted you to show me what it's like to fly. Oh, um, alright. But just for a little bit. I don't want the gems to get worried about you. Alright now, I'll get us off the ground first. Once we're high enough, I'll let you take control to get the feel of flying. And don't get nervous, just have fun with it. I'll keep us safe. <laughs> that was really fun, Lapis. But the close encounters with the ground made me feel a little uneasy. Yeah, that was bad on my part. I forgot to have you keep focus on retaining my wing shape at all times. It just becomes second nature once you get the hang of it. Anyway, now that we know our bonds are strong enough to let us fuse, if at any time you want me to lend you my power, just let me know and we'll fuse. Uh-oh, looks like they are expecting us for a while. I think it's time to call it a night. The place I used to call home has changed beyond recognition since I last saw it. I may never be able to return home due to my past actions, but Whenever I'm with him and my new friends, I feel like I already am home. I like you. How? How did you? Oh, wow. I, I actually... Tell me how you could like a gem like me. Just look at me. I'm a mess. I... That's not true, Spinel. You... You are... Everything I could... Have ever asked for. <laughs> are you entirely sure? <laughs> Just tell me, please. <gasps> How do you know I won't ruin everything? How could anyone love such a broken gem like... Pearl, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean... I just... ruined it. Stupid, stupid, stupid! I... now... don't know why, but... I've always been certain to be with you. Always. 
You're so kind, you know? <laughs> hey, I'm really sorry about a moment ago. I lost my mind. I'm truly awful. Spinel? Maybe it's true you're awful. But that's one of the many things that I like about you. Mwah. I'll see you later. Do you think she's okay? <laughs> For sure! Just see that silly expression. Yo, Stevo! Look at yourself! You reached the height limit without shape shifting! I passed it! Hey! That's cheating! Pass! Ha! I passed. Got a bit worried there for a second. Oh, stars. I'm not sure I'd pass. Shall I try? Worth a shot. You seem to fit the height requirement, my diamond. <laughs> yes, I pass. Steven, we can both join you on that swirly spaceship thing. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. I mean, how would you ride it? I have no idea. When do you think they'll get it? Okay, we are live in three, two, one. Greetings, our loyal subjects. It's time for our weekly address. White, ahem. I mean, are no longer to be forced to be loyal and equal gems. <laughs> Blue, look. Oh, oh. We are happy to announce that we have begun development for... <laughs> oh, my stars. <laughs> oh, my... Oh, my stars. Yellow? Blue? Why are you both laughing? <laughs> she looks like one of those hopping creatures Steven showed us. <laughs> what? <laughs> you are completely right. <laughs> what are you both talking about? Stop laughing. <laughs> Um, so after I pulled that prank on White, she's kept doing this to me as revenge. <laughs> oh. Ha <laughs> ha! Now you are the one who resembles the hopping creature that dwells on Earth. This is hilarious. Man, rubies are dumb. Not all of them. Oh, come on. No way are you gonna hashtag not all rubies on this. Did you even hear yourself out there? She's definitely not in that barn. Oh, I think I'll flirt and fuse with a human while I'm supposed to be playing for the other team. Oh, I'm having cheese, Safi. I'm so dumb. Sweetie, I was just as bad. Mm. So what was the big idea? How was any of this not dumb? I, uh, wasn't talking about me. What? I'm pretty sure one of those other rubies had our number all along. <laughs> This is the wrong way! I know what I'm doing! I've been to this system before! Hey! No one's fighting without me! I'm in charge here! Do it my way! One, two, three, four, five... Five rubies! One, two... But these are fingers! What? OMFG! Rubies are dumb! Hey Pearl, how come you guys didn't know the password to my mom's light cannon? Didn't she ever tell you what it was? All right, now Pearl, I'm entrusting you with the code phrase to activate all of my light cannons. You must understand that without this phrase, the cannons will not work, so it's very important that you remember it. Now, as for the phrase, it's actually something that Greg always says to me. Ugh, there she goes again, talking about Greg. Every day now, it's always, Greg wrote this wonderful song, or Greg told me this hilarious joke, or you never believe how many pancakes Greg ate today. Is that why you like him so much, Rose? Because he eats. Listen carefully, because I'm only saying it once. Well, I can eat too, Rose. I'd eat if it made you happy. If every pork chop were perfect, I'd eat all of the pancakes. Dogs. Uh, she probably forgot to tell us. Are you... still angry? I'll take that as yes. Look, you need to take things a little easy, okay? Gotcha! And no more big gestures. Of course, of course! 
Avoid! Avoid! Uh, too late. What do you mean? Uh, must be a different peep. Must be a different spinel. For fuck's sake! 